Ugh. Hey, Derpy. Make my cookies. Oh, thank God. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our Let's Play. We're going to be doing some things around the house today, but uh, I kind of want to go to the end. We kind of need to, actually. We're not going to be respawning the Ender Dragon or anything like that today. We're just going for end rods, supplies, shulker chests. Just a quick run, actually. These two pieces right here, I think, are my first two enchanted diamond pieces of armor. I have, I'm going to have to go back and look, but I think they are, because I found them in a chest a long time ago. <laughs> uh, my traveler's boots. Don't tell me these are out. Oh, they're right at the end. I don't have that, though. Although I do need boots. Okay, give me a minute. Don't know why I don't have one of these down here. This would always help. Well, we're going to be making an office in here today, I think. Well, maybe. I don't know. I've just been writing down some ideas. I want to work on the sewers a bit. Maybe even a metal refinery. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Why do I have a zombie hit? I'll put that here in the office, too. Uh, <laughs> because an easy way of XP is just gathering this stuff up and throwing it in this. We're getting there. Boom. All right. Got that going. I almost threw these in there. I almost cried. So these will be the last repair for these boots, and then we got to retire them. We haven't retired a piece of armor yet. Uh, I repaired my adventure cap not too long ago. That was the last one for that, so. All right. Rise and shine. Let's do this. Throwing my boots. Let me bring some of these because I don't really remember where I'm going. I guess we'll see if I remember how to get there. Actually, I keep forgetting it's quite easy to get there because I have this clear path with chunks on each side because I loaded terrain a long time ago to get there and now there's just chunks surrounding it. So what? Can I go to that? I'm sure I did, but I want to check. Yep, I was there. Oh, it's another abandoned one. Oh, it's big. I got lost, by the way. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> yeah, I definitely got lost. Look, there's a beehive here. Please tell me I have silk touch. No. Oh, I do. Good. Oh. Might as well take it all. <laughs> oh, you guys must be hungry. Let me help. All right. Where the heck are we? Whoa, what? No way. Did I really pass it? I'm from that direction. Oh, come on. I just need to get to the <laughs> end portal. Look, there's that village, and I saw... Yeah, looky here. Oh, oh, God. What's in here? Main tag. Oh, wow, that's a good butt. Oh, three diamonds. All right, I need to get out of here. These things are too addicting. Come get some. I didn't get mad. You know what? I'll leave you be. <laughs> I believe we are here. Yep, we are. Oh, here's Roach's old tie. Oh, my God. Uh, who's that? Hello there. <laughs> uh, thing is, I'm already full up on... Whoa. You are cool looking. Huh? Yeah, you. Oh, he's a shepherd. Stop. I want you at my house. I like your hat. Wait a minute. I created a portal for it. <laughs> oh, did I never find it? Well, it's I know it's in the nether somewhere, but I didn't. I should make an ice road to it. Why didn't I do that? Oh, it's been a while. What if it glitched out and spawned the Ender Dragon? That would be one of the most cool, unprepared glitches ever. I wonder if I'd survive. No, because I'd... <laughs> well, I do have that. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me a give, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, God. Uh oh. I'm kind of curious. What happens if you throw an ender eye in the end? Nothing. Cool. Mwah. Here we are. We are back. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well grab some of this because you can, yeah, you can turn this into the end rods, which is actually 
What is it combined? Oh yeah, blaze powder. This might be, the <laughs> instead of going around gathering each little end rods, stop, chill out, dude. This might be the better <laughs> route. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Mm, delicious. I just can't escape the chunk errors. I guess they're a part of my life forever. I wonder if I've been, whoa, that looks weird. Have I been here? Oh, it's cut in half. I have not been here, but there's no shulkers here. That's interesting. Whoa. There we go. Big one I haven't been to, I, I don't think. Hope there's shulkers. Yep, there is. Oh, boy. No, <laughs> are you kidding me? You don't see me. No, I've been to this one. Wait, have I not? What? Did I leave that there or those naturally spawn here? That's awesome because I, f oh wait. Oh, I had silk touch, awesome. I can pick it up, okay. <laughs> I'm already out of room, so this kind of sucks. I have an idea though. Um, uh, what the? Oh! Oh, two. Me being an intellectual, I just thought, what if? collect every block of one of these ships when it's over land and try to rebuild it back at home like I took a ship home what do you say should we do that what I totally just about skipped this place because there's no dragon head on the front of that I'm like I've been here stopping here just in case there's a mending at pickaxe in here <gasps> and a mending sh oh my god that is the best shovel I've ever seen Besides efficiency five. What the? This is overpowered. All right, I'm heading out. I'm getting that feeling of getting way too much stuff that I dislike kind of because I love the grind in this game. And when you get too much of something, you can get bored. And I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Gotta love this place so much. This is what I'm talking about. We need another dimension that's maybe a planet. Add a system where you can go to a planet and just less gravity. Maybe when you jump, you can jump 10 blocks high. Oh! No. Oh, dang it. I think I slept at a village. No. <laughs> that wasn't as exciting. Well, my friends, I think we did pretty well. Well, my friends, I think we did pretty well. Deja vu, right? <laughs> it happened. My game crashed. And then I got, I got double the loot now. Yeah, just kidding. I'm going to throw it out. Feels weird doing this. If I could, come on. <laughs> it's like basketball. Make the shot. From the three line. Yeah, got it. You know what? Since I am still kind of messing with things in there and I just got crap all over the place, I need to combine these things and then bring them over to the armory. And all that's ready to go in the armory. Let's work in here a little bit. Um, because I kind of stopped after a while because I want to have nether gear, explosives gear, projectile gear, and protection gear all ready for the get-go when we need it. And we also got these chests over here that hold full armor stuff. I don't know why I have broken stuff in there. Yeah, that's fire protection too. And I just found fire protection four over here. 
Okay, that's why this guy's not changing into some... I don't even think... There's a grindstone. Yeah, I think it turns him into a weaponsmith or something. But as you can see, I've already traded with him, and he's a fisherman. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Okay. But I can't have you here. <sighs> okay, I won't do it. I, I'll, I'll move you out to the fisherman's hut. Hi, Pablo. Man, the thing Duke is still out there somewhere, just waiting for me to come pick him up. That is sad. Get some popcorn going, though. What? It's food, isn't it? I'm tired of it. I am tired of it, guys. We have to get this mass storage going. I'm just sitting here running through all this stuff I have. I'm like, this doesn't need to be in here. This is not important. The armory needs to hold important materials that I come to in the need of important materials. Like this, for example. Okay, that's good. This, for example. That's really good. Okay, this for example. Wow, that's actually really good. Uh, this for example. Yeah, I would never use that, so that doesn't need to be in here. And, hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. My house is big. Tiny little slime legs can only move so fast. Up here, actually, right here. Yeah, but I just, as you can see, the stuff down there, and then I got my moving supplies going on here. Mass storage, where <laughs> that just barely, that's like 2% of the dirt I have in my world. And all this broken crap that we can combine, but then store at mass storage. And I decided. I wanted it to be in the, uh, the lab, but why put it in the lab when we have a huge place not used and that can be used for this purpose? Oh my God, this is perfect. Look how big this is. This is exactly what I wanted to build in the lab. So we're going to have rows of shelves in here full of chests. And this is just going to be a mass storage level. And then, like, we can still use the factory for its original purpose. Use other floors for other stuff. We're doing it. I love using these beehives for boxes because they look just like cardboard boxes. Don't they? So I'm just putting some... I've, I've kind of put them all over my house, mainly in the attic here. Um, but it is the next day for me, and I have been working on my factory. Yes, the fact, actually, whoa, you can see my, I don't know if I'm liking that a whole lot. This staircase on the side here, I had to make it bigger. Um, but I've been working on it because of the mass storage, and I've been getting the shelves prepared. Let's go up and take a look. Please stop. I heard Bob. Where are you, Bob? Um, so as you can see, I did not do it on the first... Where the... He's probably in there. Oh, he's probably in there. <laughs> but as you can see, I didn't go with this level because this is actually not high enough. Another spider. <laughs> and we might use this for... Well, I don't know. I, I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. But we're going to use it for something. I didn't do it on this floor either. Just because I didn't want it to be in the middle. So I put it up here. And this staircase is kind of wonky. I don't know if I like it a whole lot. Whoa! Holy shelves. <laughs> this took all the life from my tree feller axe, um, and I'm still not finished. But what do you guys think? I went with these because they look industrial, I guess you can say. They're all eight long, so they can hold up to like 12 chests, which is pretty crazy. So I want to get this thing going. I'm going to finish these last shelves here, and then we can start stocking them up. You want to? Oh. Oh, I don't want to risk that. Wait, yeah, it still might kill parrots. Never mind. No cookie for you. All finished with that. One thing that we're going to have a problem, well, I'm going to have a problem with is lighting. How on earth am I going to light this room? I don't want torches on the ground like this. Look how tall it is. Oh, man, that's going to suck. So... Another problem is we gotta add detail in here. I'm making this place look very minimalistic because it's like a factory. It's a place of working. So again, I'm going to fill the top with stone. We'll figure out something to make it look good. Oh, okay, that looks good. I actually put a border of smooth stone slabs around there and it actually looks all right. I'm gonna keep doing that. Oh, God. All right, time to start filling these things up. Border, borger, indented, borger. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> I made another one earlier, which was uh, the one with the brick. What was that? Oh, my God. I've been killing so many of them lately. Um, which was field masoned. Let's see what this one is. Is it that? Yeah, it is. Huh. We might use that. All right, see, I want this place to look cool, which means I'm not just going to have a bunch of chests in here lined up. That would look boring. That's a creeper. So, um, a lot of the shelves, we're going to just have all kinds of, like, the block items. I might have some of them laid out on the shelves, kind of like that or something, because I won't be able to go through every chest. So, when I see stuff like this, I'm going to put important stuff laying out on the shelves, um, just in case when I walk by, I'm like, oh, I might need that. Even a dragon head. I can't crouch when... Oh, I hate this. Uh, There's another reason. I I hate scaffolding because I have to do that to crouch on it. <laughs> uh, that looks weird. Okay, I'll figure something out. That was all my chests already that I've had in there, but kind of like this. I uh, just kind of want to scatter them out a bit. Um, and I want to bring a lot of barrels in here too. Brought half of my crafting tables, so we might line these up on here as well. I'm actually really digging the look of this. Now, you might question, um, if I do just scatter everywhere like this and have it random, it might be really hard trying to find a certain thing, which is true, but um, the only things I'm scattering around is just random blocks. There's gonna, The chests look random, but they're going to be organized. I'm going to have signs on each of the shelves kind of saying what's in that general area. Um, now, one thing I wanted to try real quick... Can I do that? Oh, yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. I forgot I can do that. Now I can put all kinds of armor stands in here. The one thing I'm ready to clean out of my house is the dirt chest. I'm so tired of not having anywhere to put my dirt. So, there's still going to be dirt chests, but they're just going to be empty. So, I'll, when I have dirt in my inventory, I can actually put them in these chests. Went ahead and added some more stuff. I think I am going to label the chest rather than the shelf itself because I don't want to dedicate one whole shelf to stuff. So, like dirt right there, um, armor. There'll just be all kinds of different armor pieces in there. Um, what else do we got? Bows. Oh, I know I have tons of bows throughout the world. Now, this is the thing. I'm going to have to do a lot of organizing in between episodes. So, you guys won't... But thing is, I kind of enjoy organizing. So, um, yeah, I'll... I'll I won't be too miserable. <laughs> um, I even added some... Whoa, they turned. Why did it turn? Interesting. But I did add some... Oh, there it goes. Maybe I bumped it. Yeah, I, I, I really like this. And then I guess I'm going to have to do some draping lights. Maybe glowstone on some, some of these right here. All right, while I'm getting stuff fixed up here, I got four comments for the question of the day today. Never, I, should, I don't know why I don't do that, because... I limited it so much before because I had a sign room. I should just do that. I have 50 pages for each day. I'm going to answer 50. No, God, that would be, be crazy. First one is from Blondie96. OX Blondie96XO. Do you ever take a short break from your main world and just start up a new world? Not even for a series or anything, but just because. Yes, I have. Many times. And I mainly do it because I missed the beginning of Minecraft and you're screaming right now, just start a new world. I know, I know, but I'm enjoying this world so much right now that I do not want to start a new world, but I have done that and I mainly do it on my Xbox. I don't, I've never really done it on my computer for some reason. I guess it's because I've started on Xbox and I just kind of missed that feeling because if you didn't know, um, I'm originally from Minecraft Xbox. I played that very first. Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Then Pocket Edition. And then now here. Um, but yeah, I do sometimes. But I haven't a whole lot in the recent days. You can see I made one of the Ewok pads up there. We're going to start doing that. I was kind of testing around with it. Um, next one is from AKP09. What do you do in your free time? I love this question. Because... I don't even really know. <laughs> I do all kinds of things even though I'm very limited to what I can do around here. But one thing I have been picking up recently is just, it's going to sound weird, but learning. Just learning. 
I don't know what came to me, but I'm so glad it did. But I've been so obsessed with just learning and getting my knowledge up. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because of the YouTubers I'm subscribed to. Um, I, I'm subscribed to a lot of knowledge channels that teaches you stuff about confidence and being successful in life. And I, it's just been, maybe they've been selling me on the fact that I've been wanting to buy books and read more. And that's what I've been doing. Like I bought, let me, where, where, where'd it go? I don't know. It's by Dale Carnegie. It's called How to Win Friends and Influence People. It does, it's now, the title sounds pretty sad, like, oh, I don't have any friends and I want to go win some, but it's not that. Um, it's about teaching you about confidence and how to make it in the real world as a business leader. And I've actually really been enjoying it. And another book I just got here, Stock Investing for Beginners, because I don't know much about it, but I want to. I It's just something I want to know. But other than that, I kind of just go out, um, just enjoy the outdoors and uh, shop. I like, I'm a big shopaholic, like even furniture. I just bought this new shelf that I'm really looking forward to. I don't know why I, I'm getting old. But thank you for a question. I really enjoyed that one. Next one comes from Electro Gaming. If you could spend the day with any actor, who would they be? Probably Ryan Gosling or Ben Affleck. Probably one of them too. Yeah, yeah. And the last question comes from Frizzy underscore duh and pretty much everyone else <laughs> in my comment section. Have you ever been invited to join Hermitcraft, Mr. Dallas? No, I haven't. But I did have someone that was in Hermitcraft that suggested me, which was Python. Um, which he's awesome. I love his videos. Go check him out if you haven't. But I think he recently left Hermitcraft. So other than that, no. <laughs> um, I know you guys always talk about that I would be a perfect fit for it. But they're, I think they're full and you have to be invited. You have to understand that. And well, I'm, I'm sure this person that asked that understood that. But a lot of you ask why I'm not in it. And that's it. You have to be invited. But I was invited to, which I've not talked about yet is an SMP recently. It's called Source Block, and it was actually ran by Vintage Beef, which was one of the people I used to watch growing my channel, and he, him and Etho on the Minecraft server were my biggest watchers. I, I mean, I watched them all the time, and considering I just got invited to an SMP from him, including a lot of other cool people, um, I said yes at first, but then I turned it down because... Because I was afraid to get committed into another series that I didn't know would last. And considering all my last SMPs never really lasted, I didn't want to risk that. I wanted to focus on this world and get it to episode 300 pretty quick. Because a lot of you guys really want to download it. And I want to get that here pretty quick. So I, I turn it down. Oh, pfft, what the? God dang it, they're everywhere. I can't even go. That sucks. I can't even go in my own house. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for your questions um i'm gonna go ahead and start organizing this which is going to take me a long time but i'm not even going to bring a whole lot over there just dirt see these chests right here i don't even know why they're still here <laughs> what's in these yeah cobblestone definitely need to have a cobble chest over there like what is this junk just junk um but yeah thank you guys for watching today's episode uh, i'm surprised we actually worked on the factory isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. It's almost done. No, it's far from done. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. I've been forgetting to ring this. I said I'd ring it every time I go under. Anyway. Bye-bye.